If you guys are looking to buy or sell any of your coins on FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, go ahead and check out u4gm.com for a reliable spot to do so using code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, for 5% off your order. What is going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new trading video here on the channel. My name is Sean aka Elite and today we're talking about some low budget trading methods that I've mentioned in previous episodes but we're going to dive deeper into them today and we're going to talk about some out of the pack investments that we can be making that are a little bit higher budget as well. So best of both worlds, let's go ahead and hop into it. But before we do guys, if you've been enjoying the FIFA 23 trading videos and if this video helps you out at all, all I ask in return, guys, hit that like button for me. Let's shoot for 360 likes on today's video. That would be absolutely awesome. And I'm going to need your guys' help to hit that. So first thing is first, let's start with the low budget method that I've been using all day, all yesterday, ever since the new out of position SBC was released into FIFA 23. This out of position SBC that came out um, at the beginning of the out of position promo, or actually I believe it might have been a day after that, but nonetheless, it needed 31 chemistry. It had a couple of different requirements that made certain cards go up in price. And I talked to you guys about what cards to look for in your club that might be up in price more than what they normally are. Like I had an Anthony Gordon in my club, normally goes for 400 coins. Well, yesterday he was going for 4,000 coins. So if you wanna see all those cards, check out yesterday's video. But what I have noticed is that there are certain positions, certain nations and certain leagues that are very, very expensive even still. And I'm wondering, well, why is that? And so I took a look at left wing English players from the Prem and I noticed, well, they're not up for 1200. And then I did see some for about 2000 coins, which was Ollie Watkins. But then when I set my filter to gold common, there still wasn't any other cards for another couple hundred coins. And now we've got a, you know, Jack Harrison, we've got a Harvey Barnes and a Harvey Barnes for about 2,400 each. And they've been selling for this price. They've been selling for even more than this price. Because if you take a look at my transfer list, I've been using a method to get easy coins all day. You can see this Smith row, which I did change to left wing. Of course, it shows their normal position after you sell them. 3,500, 3,200, 3,200, 3,200, 4,900. I even sold one of them, 3,200. And then I'll show you guys the Fabio Vera, uh, Vieira in a second, but there's Jack Harrison, which you just saw 2,800, 2,800, 2,800. And I've got a couple more listed up right now. And another one just sold for 4,900 coins. This method is undefeated. So let me show you guys what I'm actually doing with these cards. So what I'm doing is I'm just sending it down to the squad and I'm going over to the transfer market and I'm picking up any of these guys. ML Smith Rowe has been working really well for me and I just saw one sell for 4,900. So why not try him one more time and see if we can't make some coins off of him. So ML Smith Rowe for 950 coins, a uh, thousand right now. Okay. We'll pick one up left mid and we'll add him to the squad. Once we add him to the squad, we obviously know we need him at left wing. So I go and apply a position change card. Now here's the thing. EA have been dropping squad building challenges that you can go out and do and get five free position modifiers. So for your first few, you can do this for absolutely free and add value to the card. So I position change him to left wing and automatically I've taken this position modifier, which I did buy for about 800 coins. They are very cheap right now. They normally go for about 1200. Right now they're only 800. Even if you just wanted to invest in position modifiers themselves, it's a good investment because those cards always go back up to 1,200, 1,300, sometimes 1,500 coins. Right now, they're just 800. And you can buy an unlimited amount of them and just add them to your club because there's no limit on how many consumables you can have in your club. You can have a billion of these. There is no limit to the position modifiers in your club. But since those position modifiers add so much value to certain cards right now, 
I'm going to use them, and I'm going to make those cards at left wing for, for this example. So Smith Row, I got for 1,000. I spent 800 coins on the position change card, and I'm going to list it up. Uh, let's go 4,500 for this one. We know it just sold for 4,900. I'll go 4,500 for this one. And if it does sell, that means even after tax, we've made ourselves about 2,000 coins on that card, and it did not take us very long at all. I'd say the most difficult thing about this method is just finding finding cards that have gone up in price. Now, if you want to, you can actually just go to Futbin's Squad Building Challenge Solutions and you can find certain cards that have been position changed to those positions. So let's go ahead and pull up Futbin real quick and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we go over to Active Challenges and we're going to go ahead and pull this up for you guys to see. So we've got the new SBCs, but here's the one we care about right here and we're gonna click on completed challenges. Now, if you look at the right side, it's gonna show you position uh, change cards, and you're gonna to wanna to look for uh, for some of them that have an actual position change on them. Unfortunately, there aren't any right now, but if we take a look at one that even isn't using a position change, all right, we can see, uh, let's go with one that's only gold cards as well. That way we have a bigger player pool to look at. All right, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so we've got a left mid from the Portuguese league, and then we've got a left wing from the Argentinian league. So I'm gonna take a look on the market for Portuguese league left wings, because we know they have left mid, we just saw it right there, but Liga Portugal, we're gonna look at left wing, and we're gonna see what options there are to go with in this squad. Nuno Santes is an option, so that one's not gonna work very well, but what other leagues might actually work for us? Maybe Saraya at left wing? That one seems pretty cheap as well, but what if we went Italian and to the right mid? How's that? There we go. I think we've got ourselves a possible way to make profit right here. What's the cheapest one on the market right now? It is 1,800 coins, and those are the options. So now that we know that there's a certain position in a certain nation that goes for about 2,000 coins, what we can do is we can go over to players on Footman, and we can sort it by league, Serie A. Then we can sort it by position. We're going to go alternate position and we're going to set it to left mid we're going to submit and we're going to set our nation to italy and now we've got our different options and we found our target which is going to be zacagnia i think he looks like he's the cheapest one there's a few different options including zappa costa as well so zappa costa or zacagni should work out for us let's try zacagni just because he was the first one to pop up. So let's go ahead and grab a Zacagni right here. Don't worry about the position anymore. And what's he actually selling for here? 600, 650. Okay, 650 is fine with me. We'll buy that card and we're going to assign it. We're going to send it to the club. We add the position change that costs us about 800 coins. We're going to list that card up for. I think 2,000, and that way we profit at least 400 coins on the card. So it's not the perfect card, but you guys saw how long I searched to find a card. It didn't take long at all. It did not take long at all, and we found a card that we can automatically make some quick profit on. So this adds up over time. If you were to buy, you know, 20 of these cards, um, obviously you're going to make even more coins. So we're going to change him to a left mid instead, and automatically his value has gone up a ton. So he was 650. We're going to list for 2K, but unfortunately the transfer list is full, so i got to go ahead and clear something off of my transfer list to actually list him on the market. Nonetheless, guys, let's go ahead and talk about our next method that is going to make us some coins at a lower budget. Now, obviously, this is a very low budget method. If you're starting your account with a thousand coins, that position change method, this Fabio Vieira card, I moved from center attacking mid to right mid, if you guys were wondering, but there are hundreds of cards you can do this with. You guys saw me just search several cards in Serie A without knowing any of the cards beforehand and finding one immediately. So it's not hard to find your own cards that can end up making you bank. The one that I've been loving is Emil Smith Rowe. So once I upload this video, I'm not going to be making 4,900 on many of them anymore. But nonetheless, I'll find myself a new card that, that is working for me. But 
the SBC fodder cards are working so brilliantly along with the no risk investments. So the, let's go ahead and talk about SBC fodder first. Today, we saw a lot of supply because we saw a Halloween marquee matchups drop today, which is a very interesting SBC. We've seen similar um, holiday based SBCs in the past, like for Futmas and stuff like that. But today we saw the spooky matchups and they didn't give the craziest good packs, but they did add extra supply to the market that was already down from the weekend. We've had a pretty big crash ever since Friday, and a lot of cards have been really, really down in price. We have seen Kiesa bring up some SBC fodder. We have seen a little bit with the Team of the Week 85 plus SBC bring up some of the SBC fodder, which, by the way, if you guys were wondering, we ended up packing Kai Havertz with. Not a terribly great pull, but it definitely could have been worse. At least it fits into our team. Haven't really liked him so far in the games I've played with him, but I digress. The SBC fodder has been very, very low. And we can take a look at the cheapest players by rating, and we can see how all these cards are down in price. 83s are obviously still discard. 84s have gone from 4K back down to about 2.5K. The only uh, rating that's actually up in price right now is 85s because of the 85 plus Team of the Week SBC. Uh, so those are up in price, but you can see these cards are like 11 to 12K and 86s are 13. So not very much more expensive are the 86s, but we look at these 87 rated like Alexander Arnold and these cards were just a few days ago all the way up at about 20,000 coins. In fact, there was a point during that day that I was selling for 22K. So these cards, they went all the way down to less than 17,000 coins yesterday after these spooky matchups dropped. They were about 18K. They dropped all the way down to less than 16,000 coins. And if we take a look at the daily graph, ever since the game came out, and of course, uh, it took a couple days for, for cards like this to go down in price, they haven't been less than that since the first few days of the year. Now, once they hit 17K on October 3rd, they never really went below that ever again. I guess Saturday, October 15th, they hit a low point, but generally they really haven't been lower than that. In fact, they've overall been rising. So an opportunity to buy like this doesn't come every single day, and it's only going to last a couple more days until inevitably another SBC is going to drop, and then that's going to bring back up SBC fodder. Now, it might not be immediately to 20,000 coins, but over time, these cards are going to go back over 20K, and you just got to hold on to them. So for now, I'm going to buy those cards for less than 16,000 coins, which is exactly what I went out and did today. The cards were super cheap. I really didn't see any risk. I think I just sold another card on the market. It was Harrison for 2,700 right there. Another left wing that we got this card for 600 coins, added a position change, made ourselves a ton of profit on him. But we ended up picking up these Trent Alexander Arnolds. And if you take a look at the uh, bot for price, 15,250, 15,750 was the most we paid for one. 14K, 13,750, 14,15. An average price overall on all of these cards was about 15,000 coins. That was the average price. And it's very quick to go into the night and recover in price to already making profit. So we're already covering, covering our tax. We could sell right now and actually make coins on these cards because they would sell for about 17,000 coins. I think they'd sell quickly for 16,750. As you can see, there's only three on the market. They just got listed a, you know, a minute ago or two minutes ago. So 17,000 coins is what they've already recovered in price to just because of the existing SBCs on the game. Now, here's the thing. There's going to be more opportunity to pick these up these week, this week because of all the supply that's hitting. We already saw the drop come Friday. We saw more supply come from the spooky matchups. We might get UEFA marquee matchups today because UEFA Champions League round six of the group stages today. Then we might get even more on Thursday for normal marquee matchups. So unless they drop an SBC countering this, there's going to be opportunities for you guys to get in on investments like Trent Alexander-Arnold or on all of these other SBC. SBC ratings 
as well. There's tons of different options. You don't have to go with 87s. The only thing I'd stay away from is probably 85s just for now because right now they are inflated due to the SBC from the from the team of the week. Uh, even if we take a look at the cheapest one like Jota right now, uh, you can see that he was about 8K in the days leading up to this, and now he's 11,000 coins. So he's a little bit up in price in comparison to the rest of the ratings. But all of the other ones are solid. And here's the thing, 85s are pretty rare. So even if they don't go down to 8K, I would pick some of those cards up as well just because they've been really targeted by EA. And I feel like they fluctuate down and up a lot. They're just up right now. But if they get back down, 85s seem like a shout this year because they just always get targeted by EA for the specific ratings you need for SBCs. So I would definitely go in on some of these cards um, when you get the, 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 that chance in the next couple of days. The next investment method that I want to show you guys is something called the no risk method. You find a card. I found Mounier. You find a card that is pretty much discard price. He was 10,500 when it came to the market crash on Friday. Now he had been hovering between like 13 K and 14,000 coins beforehand. He was in packs during that time, but he was probably invested in pretty heavily. And once that market crash hit, there was so much supply that came from people's transfer lists. And he actually went right down in price to 11,000 coins. And during that time, so many cards were getting listed. And there were certain parts of this day where you could buy 20 of these cards for 10,500 coins at a time with not getting any outbids. Uh, I decided, you know what? The risk is very, very low. Plus, I'm getting a lot of the cards already with a shadow card on them. And this is a usable card. It's not just SBC fodder, similar to Trent Alexander-Arnold. If I got Trent Alexander-Arnold with a shadow card, it doesn't really add that much value because the only reason people are buying this card is for SBCs. It's different with Mounier. Although he is close to discard price, if you are buying him, you're buying him to use him. You're not buying him as an 84 rated to go into an SBC, which means that shadow cards do add value to his price. And if you're getting those cards for 10,500 or 10, you know, 11,000 there, and then this one for 10,500, and for most of them, I did get them for 10,500, then there's really no risk because you can quick sell that card for 10,248 coins. So even if I took all of these Mounier cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I got more, uh, one more in my club. Even if I quick sold every single one of these cards, I'd lose less than 5,000 coins. I'd lose less than 5K. So there's no risk with that investment. And I've already sold about a half dozen of them for inflated uh, lazy buyer prices. Right now he's going for about, you know, 11,500 or, or, or 11,750 like we saw. And that's what he's been hovering at. But as I keep uh, listing these cards, more and more get bought for 13K and get bought for 14K. And if you look at the card with a shadow card on it, as of right now, even with them being really down in price, it's still a lot of profit on that card that I bought very much so with ease. There was no risk on the card, and it wasn't hard to buy them at 10,500 uh, coins with a shadow. And the uh, tax at this price is only like 600 coins or 500 to 600 coins. So even if I sold it right now for 12,750 coins, even after that tax, I'm making close to 2,000 coin profit on the card. And that's if I sold it right now. I'm actually just going to hold on to them. And as they continue to rise, maybe 250 coins per day um, over time. And if they end up dropping anything Bundesliga related into SBCs, he'll be one that goes up pretty quickly. So I think that it's a pretty safe card to hold on to right there. And a really, really easy investment for us to make in a low budget as well. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you ended up enjoying this video and if it helped you out at all with some low budget ideas do not forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new i would greatly greatly appreciate that and if you've made it to the end of the video the secret comment of the day for the ogs that do make it to the end of my videos because i appreciate you so much is going to be mounier or thomas mounier in the comments below and i'll make sure to heart everybody's comment that comments mounier down below. You can sneak it into your comment, make it not so obvious for those plebs that didn't make it to the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.